In League of Legends, both the Static Shiv and Phantom Dancer grant attack speed, critical strike chance, and movement speed. On today's episode of LawMath, we'll be calculating which item is more cost effective. Let's take a look at the items now. The Static Shiv costs 2500 gold and will grant 40% attack speed, 20% critical strike chance, and 6% movement speed. The item will also receive 10 charges for every auto attack and 0.05 charges for every unit traveled. Once the item is at 100 charges, a champion's next auto attack will consume the charges and deal 100 magic damage to a maximum of 4 nearby units. The Phantom Dancer costs 20 2800 gold and will grant 50% attack speed, 30% critical strike chance, and 5% movement speed. It will also allow a champion to ignore unit collision. Based purely on stats, if we assume the items are being bought by a champion with 325 movement speed, one will be saving 106.2 gold on a static shiv and 594 gold on a phantom dancer. However, if we take the static shiv's magic damage into account and one considers one point of magic damage to be worth 4.88, 2.44, 1.63, or 1.22 gold, depending on how many units the magic damage hits, the Static Shiv will become more cost effective than the Phantom Dancer. We've previously considered magic damage have a value of 14.14 gold due to that being the value of ability power times 0.65, so our other magic damage gold values are not that far off. Overall, if one only considers stats, the Phantom Dancer is more cost effective than the Static Shiv. However, if one is frequently benefiting from the Static Shiv's magic damage, the Static Shiv can easily become more cost effective than the Phantom Dancer, depending on one's value of the magic damage. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and join the community on Reddit. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math.